And so to get us started in this, um, uh, in this outcome thinking, I want to now just bring us back to the idea of uh, the leadership position, all right? And thinking about being leaders, and invite all of you to kind of take on that self-image, and then I also want you to think about what's our position as leaders. So when I started playing around with that in preparation for this series of the Co-op Cafes, I got into this, uh, oh, well, there's the hunker down leadership position, and there's the double down leadership position. And sure enough, you do a little research, find out there is such a thing as a hunker down and a double down. And so the hunker down definition is to sit on one's heels to stubbornly hold a position, to settle in or dig in for a sustained period. And the idea of the double down is to become more tenacious, zealous, or resolute in a position or undertaking. Right? And so I was thinking, just again, this idea of kind of feeling that leadership position, hunker down versus double down. And then I was thinking, oh, I have a great picture of the hunker down. And my wife and I, we took a cross-country bike ride this last summer, and uh, here we are hunkering down because there's this storm passing over. I mean, the real big kind with the lightning and the hail and the, and the downpour, and we're out there on our bikes, and we're going, hold on, hunker down, because this storm is going to pass, right? And then the double-down vision is, you know, the idea of pedaling on a bicycle over those tall mountains, that actually you can set a course, you can make commitments, you can stay on the path, and eventually, not just the little foothills and the next foothills and the next foothills, but that big mountain range with the snow on it, you can go over those if you've got that double down, tenacious approach, right? Which ultimately is just like we've built the theme so far, is doing the difficult work on a bike. It just means that you keep pedaling, even if it means you keep pedaling all day uphill, right? So um, that's the starting to think about the leadership position, the hunker down, the double down. Now what I want us to do is actually kind of experience it physically. So this will be, um, uh, please, please stand up for a minute. These ideas came from uh, tennis lessons that I had a while back. And first, we're going to practice the uh, hunker down. This won't be the full hunker down, because that involves squatting, and we probably fall over. At least I did when I tried. But just feel what happens when you put all of your weight back on your heels, right? Because that was that thing of like, oh, you're sitting on one's heel. So put your weight back there. And then can we move? Can we do the resilience thing that John was talking about if we're in the hunker down? Position. Now imagine actually the full hunger down, which is the full squat. Now shift to the power position, right? So feet kind of in line with your shoulders, knees slightly bent, got your weight on the balls of your feet. Think about shifting a little bit this way and that way. Feel that feeling of resilience, right? Now just go back to the hunker down and feel that difference, right? So now back to that power position. So my instinct is that this time, for our co-ops, we want to be in this position to go for that double-down leadership style, right? So there's that hunker down, double down. Now while we're still standing, here's, a, um, here's an exercise in outcome thinking. Again, it goes back to tennis. I had a tennis coach once who had us practice tennis without a racket and without balls. And his thing was saying, Look, first you have to imagine, where do you want the ball to go? And then practice throwing your hand where you want the ball to go. So without whacking your neighbor, I want you to pick a place in the room and imagine throwing the ball and, and, you're, and you're throwing your hand where you want the ball to go. And try different places so you can kind of feel that change, right? And what's going on is you're actually imagining the outcome. There's a lot of strategy of how to get the ball to go where you want, but it starts with where do I want the ball to go, okay? 
So that is an exercise in outcome thinking. Over to Michael to get us going in the first conversation of the afternoon. Thanks so much for being here.